All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 18. All right. So following accessibility best practices, we're going to link the input elements and the label elements together using the four attributes. So we're going to use first name, last name, email, and new password as values for the respective ID attributes. All right. So this one's a little tricky. Uh, so for this one, what we're going to do first is we're going to look up this uh, four attribute. So we'll say uh, four attribute HTML, just like that. Right. And so HTML four attribute right here. And let's read up on the definition and usage. So when used together with the label element, the four attribute specifies which form element a label is bound to. And we might as well use read this one. Uh, so when used together with the output element, the four attribute specifies the rep, the, pardon me, the relationship between the result of the calculation and the elements used in the calculation. This is just to get us familiar with it when we actually start making our own websites. But basically we're gonna be using it this way. So let's look at the example because this is the most important thing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put the four inside of the label and we're gonna put the ID inside of the input, all right? So we're putting the ID here and we're putting the four here. And if you uh, forgot about what the ID is, we can just put type in ID uh, attribute HTML. And you can see right here, it is a lot of reading and it goes way through a lot of stuff but basically it's just a way to uh, distinguish it from a class in the CSS, in my opinion. So basically, what? so let's come back here. So like we're doing here, we're gonna put the four inside the label and then we're gonna put the ID inside the input, right? So the label's here, the input's here. So let's start with the fours. We'll say four equals, and then we'll have the, uh, what is that? The empty, Oh, the empty string right there. And so let's copy this from the space to the uh, second quotation mark and drop it off one, two, three times. And then let's drop it off once in the input and let's change the four to ID like that. And then let's copy it. Uh, and we let's just copy just the ID part because it already has a space. And then let's come in front of the uh, slashes and drop off the IDs like this, all right? So now we've got that done. Let's put first name in this first one. So first hyphen name. Let's copy that. Drop it off here. And let's drop it off here and here too. And just change them up while we're at it. So let's change this up to last, last. And then we'll change this up to last, LA instead of FIR like that. And then we'll do email. Let's just type email right here, email and email here, and then we'll do new password down there. Email, and right here, new hyphen password, like that. Let's take this, copy it, drop it off right here. All right, that should take care of business. Uh, let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 19, and we'll see you next time.